The Heart Sign Samaritan is one of our most popular AEDs because it has a fully automatic and semi-automatic model and also has a 10-year warranty. A unique thing about it also is the child and adults have a pad pack. So the battery and the pad pack is built in. It's very simple. One unit is needed instead of a separate battery and pad pack. Here is the 360 model of the Samaritan. It is the fully automatic, so there is just the on button and you place the pads on the victim and it will shock on its own. There's also the semi-automatic where you actually have to push the shock button. Either way, it's an easy way to save a life. Let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. The Samaritan PAD should be used on victims of sudden cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing, and have no pulse. Check for a response by shaking the victim by the shoulders and talking loudly to the victim. If the patient is unresponsive, immediately call for medical assistance and get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will hear either an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between one and eight years of age, you should ensure a pink pediatric pack is installed. If a pink pediatric pack is not available, you may use the gray adult pad pack instead. Adult patient, call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. And recommends whether or not a shock should be delivered. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two minute cycle as directed. The SAM 350P will prompt you to begin CPR. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. The SAM 350P will tell you how and where to place your hands and instruct you to keep in time with the metronome. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. In addition to staying in time with the metronome, your chest compressions should have a depth of at least five centimeters or two inches and not greater than six centimeters or 2.4 inches for adults and children greater than eight years in age. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 350P will prompt you to stop chest compressions. Stop CPR. And again assess the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation. No shock advised. And the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance or advise you to continue to perform CPR. And get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will hear either an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between one and eight years of age, you should ensure a pink pediatric pack is installed. If a pink pediatric pack is not available, you may use the gray adult pad pack instead. Adult patient, call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest to expose bare skin. Pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner.
Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. And will automatically deliver a shock if needed. Stand clear of patient. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Shock will be delivered in three, two, one. Shock delivered. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two-minute cycle as directed. The SAM 360P will prompt you to begin CPR and will continue to do so until you begin chest compressions. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. The SAM 360P will tell you how and where to place your hands. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. In addition to staying in time with the metronome, your chest compressions should have a depth of at least five centimeters or two inches and not greater than six centimeters or 2.4 inches for adults and children greater than eight years of age. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 360P will prompt you to stop chest compressions. Stop CPR. And again, assess the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation. No shock advised. And the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance or advise you to continue to perform CPR. After using the Samaritan PAD, slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines. Once a week, check that the green light is flashing so you know the unit is ready in case of an emergency.